Hey everyone, this is a little different than what we usually do here on my channel, but I'm going to be doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke. What is a Pokemon Nuzlocke, you ask? Good question, and I'm about to explain it. The rules of Pokemon Nuzlocke, or Pokemon, however I'm going to say it, I'm sure I'm going to be saying it both ways throughout this, are simple. The Pokemon faints, Pokemon's dead. You can't use the Pokemon again, doesn't matter who it is, and if all your Pokemon die, that's it. Game over. No more Pokemon game. No more anything. That's it. Rule number two. You have to catch the first Pokemon you find in a route. After that, there's no do-overs. You have to catch it. There's no do-overs. You have to catch it. That's how it goes. You also have to give your Pokemon nicknames. There are other rules, but those are the ones I'm going by. I am also going to allow myself to not catch a repeat if that's the first Pokemon on the route. Controversial rule, I know, but that's the one I'm going with. Anyhow, we're playing Pokemon Soul Silver. This is a uh, edited ROM, simply so trade evolutions can happen in game instead of being like, oh hey, well, I have to trade with somebody because I'm playing on my computer, I can't do that. Or at least I don't know how to. Anyhow, I've played this game quite a bit as a kid. I know quite a bit about Pokemon Soul Silver. It's one of my favorite games, so no info is needed. Let's get right into the game. Hmm, interesting. Oh, excuse me, sorry there. I was just reading this book here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I would like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. That's a Meryl, I know that one. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them, and then they die! Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? I am a boy. I am 100% my male. So you're a boy then? Yes, that is me. Please tell me your name. My name is Brett, as you all know. Your name is Brett, yes. Brett, are you ready? No, no I am not. I am honestly pretty scared because I get attached to my Pokemon when I play games. Your very own grand tale of adventure and heartbreak is about to unfold. Fun experiences, uh-uh. Difficult experiences, I'm expecting it. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams adventure, let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. And now we're going Chibi mode. All right, here we are in the world of Pokemon. Oh, that's my mom. Hi, Brett. You're finally awake. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She's playing hide-and-seek with her, Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Your acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? No, I have nothing. Here, here's this bag to carry things. Here, this is your trainer card. Here, you can save your record of your progress. These are also rather helpful. Just try touching buttons and you know what to do in no time. All right, so I think I'm actually gonna allow myself to pick my starter. Just, you know, with myself. First things first though, I'm changing this. I'm playing Soul Silver, so I'm going with Silver. There we go. And now we shall move. Oh, there's Meryl! That must be Lyra. I know this. I played this okay. I don't know why I'm acting like I haven't. She just gonna leave like that? Okay. So we're gonna go see Professor Elm. There he is. Hi, Brett. I've been waiting for you. 
Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great too because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to be giving you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon people? Hopefully not death, because I'm good at games. This device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. Oh hey, I got an email. Um, hmm, uh-huh, okay. Hey, listen, this acquaintance I have that people call Mr. Pokemon. That's how English works. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyways, I just got an email from him saying this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know! You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the three Pokemon over there. So, I'm going to go into the impression that the Nuzlocke does not actually begin until I can physically catch another Pokemon. Alright, let's see who we're getting. So I'm just going to allow myself to pick the Pokemon. We got Chikorita here. We got Cyndaquil. And we've got Totodile. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Chikorita. It, I love Chikorita still. It's great in the anime. Super cute. But it's just not as good as these two, if I'm being honest. So I think I'm going to go with... I'm actually going to go with Cyndaquil. I want Cyndaquil. Let me... Hit the button. Let's go! We're getting a Cyndaquil! How do you feel walking by your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take your well Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt... You should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. Check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and he finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go past... Go north pa a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Brett. Alright, what's this aid want? Brett, I want you to have these to help with your task. We got potions! Those should come in handy. Because I know one of the rules is no items inside battle. But I am going to allow myself to use item. I did not read what that guy said there, but I've played Pokemon before, so I'm assuming I'm fine. Brett, so you picked a Cyndaquil. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. Alright, Ash the Cyndaquil. Let's go talk to my mom and get my phone, because that's what happens. Oh, Brett, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elma must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elma has a task for you, you say? What kind of task? I see, that sounds a little difficult, but when someone makes the kind of request, it must be important. Oh, that's right, I completely forgot. Your Pokegear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Brett received the Pokegear. The Pokemon gear, or Poke gear as it's called, is often, as it is often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use Poke gear to make phone calls too. Do you remember how? Yes, I remember how to make phone calls, Mom. Just power on the Poke gear and touch the telephone button, okay? The names of Poke Pokemon. <laughs> the names of people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one and give him or her a call. Well, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. It's smart to give your children a cell phone when they go out into the wild as 10 year old because that's what happens to your Pokemon. Who's that? So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Rude. I'm leaving. So, this Nuzlocke... Wait one second. Fine, I'll wait a second. Rude. Interrupted me. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Tell you if anything comes up. So as I was saying, this Nuzlocke doesn't actually begin until I can catch a Pokemon. So if Ash were to die here, that's fine. Whatever Pokemon I run into here will also not count, simply because I can't catch it yet. 
Now, once I can catch a Pokemon, that's when stuff gets real. What do we got here? A Hoot Hoot. See, if I had Pokeballs, that would have to be what I catch. However, I'm going to run away this time. Alright, you know what? We're gonna have to start fighting. We need all the experience we get if we want Ash to survive this world. I did some research before doing this. I did not just pick Soul Silver because this is the first Pokemon game I played. I rented it from Gamefly and then I had to give it back after a week and I had no idea what I was doing. But then I eventually got my own copy. And that was the first Pokemon game I played and beat myself. Like, I think that was back in fourth grade or so, maybe. Maybe fifth. Long way from where I'm at now, I am a freshman in college. I'm honestly super nervous about this all, simply because <laughs> if I die, I'm dead. Once my Pokemon are gone, that's either I have to train up a whole new team, or I'm just done, assuming I have a Pokemon left, of course. So I'm going to have to think smarter instead of thinking harder. Simply because I want my team to survive. If I'm training up a team, I'm going to get attached with these little guys. Alright, this should be the edge here. Just gonna walk on down here. Hopefully we get the running shoes soon. I forget when that happens. I think it's right up now, but... Should be this old guy. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone's a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Okay then, follow me. Hey, he's fast for an old man. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try to keep up. Even as slow as possible, this guy's still faster than I am. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal all your Pokemon in no time. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. This is the Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little further, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are only found in the water. Here, it's my house. For your effort keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. You got got you, didn't I? Don't worry, these are brand new. This guy pretty much just gave away running shoes. That's like me giving away random track shoes to some kid on the street. Now we can run. I'm gonna heal Cyndaquil real quick. Let's see what Cyndaquil says. Ash. Ash is happy. Ash is glowing with health. Good, that's a good sign. All right, let's get on out here. I made it. I forgot about one thing. This is another token from me. Map card. We get the map card. Plug that right into my phone. Select the Poke Gear and touch screen and select the town map icon. You'll see a map of the region you're currently in. The Poke Gear becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. I basically got Google Maps just now. Oh boy. Hoot hoot again. The rule I am going to play by is a controversial rule, I believe. But, unless people want otherwise, I will allow myself to catch a new Pokemon if I go to a route and it's a duplicate of what I already have. Say, since we already ran into Hoot Hoot, if I already had one, I'd be allowed to go for a different Pokemon. But since we can't catch anything right now, I'm just gonna kill it. There we go. Leveled up. Alright. I can't remember when exactly. We got smoke screen now. That might have to come in handy because that will allow me to not be hit nearly as much. What? Okay. Luckily that doesn't count because we couldn't catch a Pokemon. 
But that is just an example of what could happen. Luckily, Ash is still alive. That's a bad omen, though. That, that's a bad sign, I think. So, if I could have caught another Pokemon by now, that would have been Ash gone. We got a potion. Alright, let's keep running. Who are you? Hey, kiddo! How in the world can you be so oblivious to my eye-catching house? Hold it right there. I got business to do, man! When you see- when you follow that path north, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. But before you go out, let me finish what I have to say. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorns- apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of those trees, too. Apricorns are really something. You can make Pokeballs and other things. They're quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be. So here, I have something for you. We got an apricorn box. That allows me to get apricorns. With the apricorn box, you can carry so many apricorns. You'll be a decent apricorn collector. Alright. Basically, we walk up with the tree, we shake it a little bit, and then it pops out an apricorn, and we get a go. That's it. That's all that happens. Yeah, you're not... You're dizzy, okay? I'll, I'll take care of you, I promise. We have these. I'm going to give you one. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is going to be a fun series, I can tell. I don't want to headbutt it. I might come in useful later, though. We got an antidote. This is a thing that happens with Pokemon a lot. You just run into random Pokemon. You know, because it's a it's an RPG. It's just how it works. They're random encounters. I don't know why that one rat attack was so strong. <laughs> like, jeez. I need to stop talking. There we go. Come on, Ash. You got this. Taking everything head on so far. Another one! <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Alright. A few moments later. Alright, Mr. Pokemon's house. You must be Brett. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. This is what I wanted Professor Elm to examine. We got a mystery egg, guys. I wonder what could be in there. A friend of mine in Ecritique City gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg at Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what this is. He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. Are you returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. So I use that potion for nothing? And with that, I am Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So, you're Brett. I was just visiting my friend Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon! I see, you must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah! You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? You see this? This is the latest version of the Pokedex. <coughs> it automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Guys, or one step... Go and meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get the golden rod for my usual radio show. Brett, I have a feeling this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side. Professor Oak is now my friend on Facebook. Alright, let's go. Uh-oh, my other friend, Professor... Uh, hello, Brett. It's a disaster. Um, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It, oh, no. Please get back here now. Wonder what that could be about. I'm not calling my mom, that's for sure. Oh, no. <laughs> so we almost got there. Now, we are in a hurry, so I'm going to get away. Even though I did say we need all the experience we can get. 
Oh boy, they're murdering each other's pets. Alright, Send of Pool's all good. Well, Ash is all good. Ash is all good. Now let's get back to Mr. Pope. Not Mr. Pope. Professor Elm. It's the guy from earlier! You got a Pokemon at that lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I have a good Pokemon too. I'll show you what I mean. Alright, alright. Who are you? Passerby boy! Tell to dial. Alright, this should be... Easy dub, Cyndaquil. Let's go. He's level 5. Easy dub. No. Please. Don't start now! <laughs> Please! No! It's okay. We still can't catch a Pokemon. Cyndaquil's in no danger right now. Huh. You're doing okay for someone weak. Boy, if you don't- I'm kicking your butt, boy. Alright. <laughs> oh, man. The safety net's about to come off. I'm scared, guys. I'm being honest. That's not the attitude we need to go into this with. We are going to win! Ash is going to stay with us through it all. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. I don't think so, pal. Get that back! That's my trainer card! Oh no! You saw my name. What a nice guy. I bet his name's like... Shane or something. <laughs> Maybe a Matthew. Alright, let's get back to Professor Elm. Who are you? We're investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. S oh my, so you must be the one who did it? Gotcha. Get these mother Seems pretty flawless logic to me. Hold on one second. He has nothing to do with it. He saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the building. Lyra, thank you so much for saving me. I was about to get arrested. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. You happen to get his name? Yeah, that's Shane. <laughs> I see, so, so Shane was his name. Yes. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to research is to search for this <laughs> is to search for this red haired individual. Truly the world's greatest detective right there. Brett, I'm so glad they understood you were innocent. See you later. Alright, see ya Lyra. It's gonna show up and leave again, I guess. Brett, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's discovery today? He gets an egg. Huh? This is an egg, isn't it? This egg must maybe something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Eggs are quite good, and a great source of protein. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secret it holds. I'll keep hold for a while we find out about the egg. What? Professor will give you a Pokedex. Brett, is this true? That's, that's incredible. He's superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Brett, I knew you were a little different. Thanks. Things are going to be fun, <laughs> not for me. Your Pokemon really seems to like you. Why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League and Champion. Or not. <laughs> don't say that. Don't say that. You're going to jinx me, and I'm going to die as soon as I step out of this building. And then I'll be coming for you next, Professor. Becoming the Champion is... N is not at all easy, but you certainly challenged by. But yeah. <laughs> he wants my friends to die. Before you leave, make sure to talk to your mom. Alright. He'll sign the quote, please. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, this is where the pain can start at. Because send a quote. His safety net has been taken away. <laughs> I gotta go talk to my mom. Can I just hide in my room, please? So you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help you. What can I do for you? I know. Every time you see prize money, I'll save some for you. On a long journey, money's important. 
No. I'm responsible. Okay, but be careful out there. Pokemon are your friends. When you work as a team, you can accomplish anything. Now go on. Mm, here we go. Alright. Here we go. <laughs> hey, Lyra. <laughs> there you are. Brett, you can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. I'm aware. Follow me. Just like that. Good job. Very helpful. Huh? Was I too fast? Try again. Come this way. Basically, it's a Pokemon catching tutorial. I'm gonna skip over this. Bruh. See? Just like that. It's better to do to lower your targets HP more than I did, or make it sleep or something. You can try all kinds of things, see if that works. I'll give you these. Good luck. And just like that, see you! The safety rails are off. Alright, let's see who our first partner is going to be. I'm just going to slowly make my way back to the city, and whoever our partner is will pop up. Let's see who it is! A hoot hoot! Cool, cool. A flying type. Alright, don't kill it, Sandy Quill. Based on estimates, that's good enough. Another tackle would have killed it. And we need hoot hoot. There we go, teammate number two. Now we gotta name it. Hoot Hoot's data was added to the Pokedex. Welcome to the team, Hoot Hoot. Or should we call you Butter? Butters. This is Butters the Owl. All right. Just like that, Butters the Owl was added to the team. I believe that's where we're going to end this episode. We've got Cyndaquil, we got Ash, and we got Butters. That's where I'm going to end this episode. Join me next time on the anxiety-inducing adventure ahead of us, now that anyone and everyone can die. I'm Brett, thank you so much for joining me in this first episode, and I'll see you next time.